We all. Yo, what up, what up, Team H Bam? So as promised, we have the lovely Millicent Williams here, and we're gonna be doing some uh, knee exercises that we, we promised that we would show you guys. Uh, so a lot of you haven't seen the clinic, of course, but here's our where we do our physical therapy at in this room over here. You know, there's more to the clinic, but let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so the important thing about strengthening your your knee your knee muscle, well, your actual your knee joint. It's going to be stretching and then strengthening it. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to show you a quick little exercise series that you can do every day or every other day that's going to help stretch and strengthen the muscles around the knee. All right, so first we're going to start off with the actual calf muscle. So Millie's going to show you a, uh, a calf stretch. There goes the calf right there. And so real quick, we have the calf. So can you show them the calf? So we have the calf muscle. We have the quadriceps. And then we have the, the hamstrings. Right. So we're going to work on stretching and then strengthening those muscles. All right. So Millie's going to go through real quick and show you how to do a calf stretch. So if you have a belt, just a regular old belt around the house, grab it. If you have a string, a rope, some tape, it don't matter. Just grab something. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it on the balls of your feet. Um, like she's doing right now. She's going to put it on the balls of her feet. And now what you want to do is keep your, your legs very, very flat. You try to get your knees to touch the ground. Have your ankles on the floor. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull back on the balls of your feet to get those your, your feet face, pulling towards you. Now, where you, you should feel the pull in your calf. So right real quick, show them where they should feel the pull. You should feel the pull in your calf. Good. So what you want to do is you want to hold that for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And then release. Let it all the way back down, wait about five seconds, and then pull again and hold for 30 seconds. This time you should be able to pull it a little bit further. So you want to pull it, hold it, and keep it right there. See, Millie's able to pull it a little bit further. We want to make sure we keep our legs on the ground, ankles on the ground. Good. All right. So that's going to be for the uh, calf muscle. Next, we want to do the hamstrings. So due to hamstrings, you're not going to need the belt. So she's going to put the belt down. She's just going to let the belt go. Right now, we're going to have our, her legs just straight on the ground. And what she's going to do is she's going to lean forward towards her toes. But she's going to keep the natural curve in the back. See how she's sitting upright? And when she bends, she's going to bend at the pelvis. Show us real quick where the pelvic region is at. And so she's going to bend at that region. All right, so she's going to bend towards her, her. There you go. And see how she, so show us how the curve in the back. So show us how you don't want to do it. Show, yeah, there you go. We don't want to see that. So you might be reaching your toes, but you're not actually doing the stretch. So we want to have your, your natural curve over insinuated and then reach towards your toes. And so she's bending at the pelvis region. And so you're going to feel that, feel that stretch in the hamstring. So show them where the hamstring's at. Right there. So that's where you're going to feel that stretch. And so the same thing. You want to hold that stretch for 30 seconds and then take a break and then hold it for another 30 seconds. You want to do three sets of those. The next ones we're going to do is the quad stretch. So this one, you're going to need the belt. You're going to lay flat on your stomach. You're going to put the belt, uh, once again, around your feet or your foot. So there we go. All right, so now we're going to stretch out the quadriceps. So show them where the quadriceps is at. Right there, right there. So we're stretching out that one. So what you're going to do, you're going to lay flat on your back. You're going to tie the belt around your foot, and you're going to pull. Now you want to make sure when you're pulling, your leg is lined up with your knee joint. You don't want it on the outside. Let's show what you don't. You don't want it like that. You don't want it on the outside. On the inside, you want to make sure it's lined up. And you want to pull, 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 pull. And you should feel that stretch. All right? And the same thing. We want 30-second holds. And we want to do three reps of those. And so that's going to help you stretch out. Well, that is going to stretch out your quadriceps. So those are going to be your three stretches before you actually get into the exercise. All right, let's go on to the exercises. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the exercise called the uh, quad set. So, like I said, we have to strengthen the, the muscles around the knee joint. Um, that being the quadriceps, uh, the hamstring, and the, and the calf. So, now, right now we're going to do the uh, quadriceps. So, this one is called the quad set. And what she's doing is she has a towel rolled up under her knee. And 
It's right on, under her knee. And what she's going to do is she's going to try to push her knee into the ground. Now, as she's pushing her knee into the ground, you can feel your quadriceps tightening. So show us where your quadriceps is again. So there, there goes your quads. And as you're pushing it, pushing it into the ground, you're going to feel that quad tightening up. And so you want to hold that, that hold for about 5 to 10 seconds. And you want to do that for a total of 10 reps. And so you relax. Now back down. Good. So you can't see it, but her muscles are tightening up. They're pushing it down. It's because the, the quadriceps are responsible for pulling the knee or straightening the knee out. All right, good. Now we're going to go on to the next one. All right, so here we go. This is the next one. Once again, this is going to be an exercise for the quad. Uh, so this one is going to be called the, uh, the sitting long arc quad set. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to be sitting, find a chair, just sit down in a chair or a couch or whatever. But you want to make sure your, your knees, your legs able to hang off at a 90 degree angle. And what you're doing is you're just going to slowly extend, good, extend your legs all the way to the top and then slowly go back down. And then bring it back up. And so you want to go until you really feel fatigue. Now, some people may, may stop at 10 because they feel the burn. Some people may be able to go all the way to 20. Now, if you're able to do this all the way to 20, what you want to do is you want to add some resistance. So Millie's going to use this, this little weight, and she's going, to put it on the, on the, she's going to put it on the flat part of her foot. There you go. And now, she's, now, even, now she has to be even slower and more more. Uh, stabilized to get it up without it falling. So she's going to extend. Good. And bring it all the way back down. Good. And so she's going to probably get to like maybe now you don't want to drop it, but it's okay. Now, if you don't have a way to house, if you don't have these things, no problem. Just grab a bag of rice, lay it on, you know, top of your foot, uh, grab, you know, your baby, your kid, you know, just grab something, put it on your foot and you want to extend and bring it back down. All right, so that's the next one. All right, and so the next one, what we're gonna do is we're going to be working out the hamstring. Where's the hamstring? There goes the hamstring right there. So this one's gonna be hamstring curls. So what she's gonna do, all she's doing is slowly contracting, bring your knee, bring it, bring your legs up. There you go, curling it all the way up and then back down. And then back up, back down. And once again, she wants to get 10, the goal is to eventually get to 20, and if she can do 20, then we're going to need to add some resistance. And that's going to be for your hamstrings. And so for your calves, what you're going to do for your calves is... Alright, and so for the, the last exercise for this series, what you're going to do is you're going to work on the calves. And so what you're going to do is what we call calf raises. Essentially all it is, is you just tippy-toeing. So if you're not able to tippy-toe with, with keeping your balance, you're going to hold on to something. All right, so Millie has her hand placed on something. She feels stabilized. And all you're doing is tippy-toeing slowly all the way to the very top. Hold it for about a second and back down slowly. Now, if you can do this about 20 times, then that means you need to be on one leg. So Millie's going to hold up one leg. There you go. So now she's going to do it again. And she's going to do as many as she can with that. So we recommend about, you know, like I said, if you can do more than about 20 then you want to get some resistance going on but just to begin this is going to be a good so this is perfect for if you have knee pain such as arthritis anything that's not acute this is what you want to be doing because you have to strengthen the muscles around that joint um you know arthritis doesn't have to be a death sentence uh you know these injuries don't have to mean that you you're bound to just not working out or doing anything there's ways around it and it's just about getting that the, the information and applying it so by any means necessary, whatever you have, you know, a wall, bag of rice, you have a string, a rope, whatever it is, get it in, use it. All right. That's all we got for today. We'll see you later. Good.